we're out of here. Loretto bound. Calm winds, calm waters, no sails out. We had a couple sails out this morning, but we brought them all back down again because there's just no wind. Nice, calm, relaxing day out at sea. We have less than 10 nautical miles to go, roughly two hours till we're at a Loretto. And just like that, we got some wind all of a sudden, picked up, and we got the jib out. Not bad, not bad at all. Now that we're only seven nautical miles to Loretto, that's all right though. We are gonna bypass Escondido to check out Loretto's anchorage. It's typically not known to be a very good place to anchor. And uh, of course, we'll also check out Escondido. We keep hearing on the radio all these boats being called, talking to one another, and we know so many of them. So I think we have a lot of friends in the area, which is gonna be pretty awesome. It's the first time that we're stopping at a place that we RV to on our way down right there to La Paz. This is exciting. It'll be really fun to see this town from the water instead of the beach. Do you need me to hold it? Oh, yeah. It's so much fun getting work done when you're out at anchor, huh? <laughs> That would be channel 22 here in Loretto. We're being serenaded to. Serenaded. Obviously by <laughs> somebody that might have had one too many to drink. It's been three weeks today since we left La Paz. Can you believe that? Three weeks. We've been exploring, having a wonderful time. We've made it to Loretto, and now we'll do some exploring here. There's the dinghy dock over right there, and here's the dinghy dock right here. We're gonna find out how much it costs to uh, dock here for a day. I assume that we're okay here. We're gonna go find out in a minute. This is just a bar. Restrooms. Nobody's there. Okay. So we try upstairs now? Yeah, I guess. And that's locked. Okay. Well, I so we'll go to town and worry about paying later. Oh. We'll cross the street. Gracias. Okay, gracias. So apparently back to the downstairs where it says open, but nobody was there is where we're supposed to be paying. Um, so that's $14. 219 Mexican pesos for the dinghy dock. That is one dinghy and two personas. That's a lot of money for one day pass to park your dinghy. Uh, it ended up being 12.34 US dollars with the current exchange rate because we used a credit card uh, to pay for the dinghy dock. This bottle recycle. Up here, there's an, an entrance yeah. right there. That's funny. Wow, it's so pretty in here. Kind of the city central right here. Wow. I don't know, what do you want to see? Loretto. I think we just saw Loretto. Oh, the tourist square, that's all we get. Yep. Okay. We went into two souvenir shops. And didn't buy a single souvenir. Woo! Darn it. Yay! We'll have to do some more shopping. This looks delicious. So what is it? Can you Mexican combination. I don't know what it is. But it has beans and rice, which is my favorite.
So my brother's coming to Laredo tomorrow for a short visit and we're gonna take off out of here. And as a coincidence, it's gonna be my birthday in two days. We got eight feet of water below the keel right now. It's pretty shallow here uh, in Loretto. We got down to about six and a half, seven feet last night. Yeah, yeah it's a good first day here in Loretto. Tomorrow we pick up Sam and uh, off to another adventure. So today's boat cleaning day. Jess is downstairs. up top here starting at the anchor area which is always filthy because uh, when you bring up almost 200 feet a half inch chain it brings a lot of crap with it rust my chain's rusty it's not galvanized anymore probably wash down the whole tow rail and the upper deck which is dirty I don't know how so much dirt gets on a boat it's crazy I had no idea that boating was dirty I thought it'd be like oh this spotless there'll never be dirt on the boat unless you track it on there but I guess we're too close to a dusty city, so uh, it happens all the time. I clean this thing once a week, pretty much, uh, like a car. Um, we're gonna pick up my brother Sam, uh, maybe one o'clock or something like that. Here we go, clean it up. <laughs> We are headed to Caesars, which is the, one of the favorite restaurants of the two gentlemen we met last yesterday afternoon. So I think it's tacos and beer at Caesars. Okay, this is it. Oh, this looks nice. Cute. Cheers. <laughs> Welcome to Mexico. Muchas gracias. <laughs> this is a great little liquor store here in Loreto. We were told by the local guys. Look at the selection. And it's within walking distance of the Anchorage. Perfect. El Pascadoro Supermercado. There's the money exchange that was recommended to us. And it is right across the street from El Pascador. So head on over to the grocery store and then cross the street for your money exchange. We are fully stocked with more goodies. And now we are officially ready to go explore with Sam on our boat and go check out some islands and whatever else calls to us. So we did some money exchange. We found a liquor store and a grocery store. All is well. So we just had a little walk into town here. Got back maybe two hours later and um, look at what the birds did to our dinghy. Yeah, not good. This stuff's like concrete. You little sucker. Get out of here. Just wiped me out. Goodness. <laughs> yeah, you jumped right on the boat, man, and went for it. Oh, thanks, Sam. It's like you've done it before. Oh, it's like new again. Good job. It is the captain's birthday this morning, and he has chosen Puerto Belandra for his birthday. So we'll be spending a couple of nights there. We're leaving Loretto, we have nine and a half nautical miles to go and there's not a breath of wind, so we will be motoring the whole way. But it's a beautiful day. Check out this sunrise that we saw this morning. We have about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minute uh, motor ahead of us, but we're gonna put out a fishing line anyway. You never know what we might catch. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. Goofy boy.
happy birthday. Thank you. How is your birthday so far? Well, just like any old man, I need a nap right away. <laughs> I was tired when I woke up this morning, and I can't wait to go to bed early. <laughs> is there anything positive about today? <laughs> yeah, but we sailed an entire nine nautical miles today. We sailed? We moved the boat <gasps> nine nautical miles today. We fished the whole way and apparently had the wrong lures on because we got nothing. But the beer's cold, the sun's out, it's 82 degrees, the water's 75, it's awesome. Perfect, sounds like a pretty good day. So this place is absolutely beautiful, but man, there are bees and wasps like we've never seen before. When we first were anchoring, there was at least 50 wasps circling all around the boat looking for water. I feel bad, but oh man, I just got hammered by a bee. Left the stinger, oh, it is not comfortable being stung, but um, they're hovering us now. And I think it's because we have a couple of uh, empty beer bottles and they're looking for anything to drink that isn't salt water. So we're uh, rinsing them all out now and hopefully they won't find us anymore because uh, it's painful, it's painful. Cheers, you guys. And talking people in. <laughs> and here's the bee sting. About 24 hours later. Good morning. We have spent our two nights here in Puerto Belandra. We are headed now for Puerto Escondido, which is about 16 nautical miles from our current location. And we have very little wind, but what little wind is there is in our favor. So that's nice. Uh, we are meeting up with some friends. They are coming in on their catamaran seascape. And uh, about a year ago, we met them in Bay of Conception us in our RV uh, camping along the beach and them in their catamaran and they invited us on board knowing that we were driving down here to Baja to buy a boat so that we could check out the catamarans because that's what we really wanted ultimately was a catamaran. Anyway we ended up spending the entire day with them had a fantastic time wonderful memories and they are currently coming to Puerto Escondido amazingly at the same time as us so we're headed there we're both gonna be there today it's gonna be a really fun reunion we're looking forward to it. So we're gonna go ahead and put up the main and the mizzen, I believe both, before we leave the anchorage, uh, even though we only have a little bit of wind. One, two, three, and then over the self tailor. on our way, wearing about five and a half knots under motor sail, I and mean, we have two sails out, but there's like two knots of wind. So according to this, we have less than three hours until we reach Puerto Escondido. Wind speed, current uh, boat speed. But we had some nice swells out there. I think we're gonna need to turn the engine back on. Bringing the sails down. There's just no wind out here. Hold on. And when you have old crusty okay, sails, you have to help it. We're skunked again with regards to fishing. Darn it. I don't know what we're doing wrong, but we keep changing out the lures and still nada. Puerto Belandra is it was a nice place to anchor, but there was a lot of bugs. We had mosquitoes, we had mud daubers, we had honeybees, we had giant horseflies, and we had bobos, sometimes all at once. So that's a little bit uh, of a nuisance, to say the least, but nothing that would keep us from going back there again, although it really wasn't a favorite place of ours, so I'm not really sure why we would go back there again. Um, it was a nice place to anchor, 
but uh, we still, so far, I think uh, Aqua Verde on this trip up north has been our favorite. We're about to pull into Escondido, so we'll see how that goes. So this is Escondido. Lovely. And here is a little market right next to the dinghy dock. Okay, this is the best store in Sea of Cortez yet. They actually have doTERRA. That's so cool. So this store is fully stocked with just about anything you could use. Including produce. And a bar. Wow, I'm truly impressed. Our friends are on their way in their dinghy. Heading out right now. We're gonna have some uh, hors d'oeuvres. Wine, looking forward to it. Coming up on Blipper. Hello. Beautiful boat. Hi, oh, welcome oh. to Blue Pearl. Oh, beautiful. How are you? Great. Great, thank you. Baby. Uh -huh, thank you. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Cheers, thank you. Oh, this is so great. Thanks for bringing the champagne, you guys. Going out to have dinner tonight with our friends that we just had on Blue Pearl. They've invited us out to dinner at the restaurant here in Escondido. And uh, we're going to check it out. Puerto Escondido. <laughs> you guys are good at that. Water's like glass. This is perfect paddle for you. Hello! How are you? Good. Good. It's a long way. <laughs> yes. And you can actually go through it.
following seas. Fair winds and following seas. Sam is leaving us today. It's been a great week. Thank you for being on, on board Blue Pearl for with us. Thank you so much for having me. It was a blast. Next time we'll catch fish. Right. Now that we learned how to do it at the end of your trip. <laughs> I learned how to tie a bowl. Nice. Thank you enough, ma'am. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Oh, you guys are awesome. We love you. We already miss you. Bye, Sam. Yeah, you too. Be good. Be safe. Knocking. Yeah. Super nice to meet you guys. Thank you. We'll catch you. Bye, you guys. Take yeah. care. Thank you. It was so Thank lovely you meeting you both. You guys are awesome. We appreciate the afternoon happy hour. Absolutely. <laughs> we made some new friends. Spencer and Kelsey. That beautiful dinghy ride back. We actually anchored with these two in, uh, let's see, it was just outside of Cabo, of San Jose del Cabo. It was, oh, when right. we were, Let me look it up. So, yeah, okay. And uh, they are here and they saw our boat, so they came out to say hello and uh, reminded us that we've actually been anchored with them several times in La Paz and in, um, we're looking at it right now because we've heard we've forgotten and uh, we saw them because they have a dark hold boat and they remember us because of our dark hold boat anyway uh yeah and we've anchored with them a few times since then but we've never had the privilege of actually meeting them and tonight we got that and i think we're all headed to coronados together so that'll be super fun